Hey, this is Adam Glenn, comedian, podcast host, and street journalist. I'm here thanks to my friends at Extra Space Storage because they asked me to show some of the hidden gems in my city. We're right here in Brooklyn. Let's check it out. We're on our way to Peter Pan's Donut and Pastry Shop. This place has been here for over 60 years, family owned and operated. It's got a loyal fan base. A lot of people coming for the Red Velvet Donut. I love the glazed donut. It's all original recipes, but make sure you bring cash because it's cash only. Let's check it out. What's been the key for you guys to be here and be relevant for 60 years and people still coming every single day? I think it's, you know, putting out a quality product at an affordable price. My coffee is still a dollar because I try to keep it like that for the working person. They come here five, six days a week and they're able to buy a coffee and a donut every day because it's $2.50. And I try to keep it like that and I think that's a big part of it. What's your favorite donut? It's one that you need to have at least with you. I'm a dunker, so I, in my coffee I dunk the plain old fashioned, which uh, all the coffee gets absorbed into that and then it melts in your mouth and that's my favorite. So I usually go with the glazed donut, but today I'm going with the sour cream donut. Let's give it a try. Uh, this is good. This is really good. One of the best things about Brooklyn is the food, and there's all kinds of it everywhere. You'll just be walking down the street like, hey, that place looks good. You pop in and it's just the best food you've ever had. DeKalb Market is the place to wine, dine, and discover new food in Brooklyn. This food hall is home to over 30 local vendors, and they have all kinds of options. If you want authentic Jamaican food right here in Brooklyn, check out Licklemore Jerk. They're all about classic Jamaican dishes with a modern spin, and they're an awesome spot if you need a quick lunch or takeout dinner. You gotta get their jerk chicken dish. You get rice, you get coleslaw, and the meat is incredible. It's so tender, and the sauce, it packs the right amount of punch. Another great spot is Wiki Wiki. It's a cross between Hawaiian street food and Korean comfort food. They've got poke, ramen, bibimbap, even plant-based options. Now the ramen is a go-to for a lot of customers. You gotta get the shio ramen at Wiki Wiki. The flavors are amazing. But if you wanna spice it up, get the chochang poke. You can get it with tuna or salmon. And if you want more flavor, order extra chili sauce. If you've had a long day and you want an amazing craft beer, Craft & Carry is the spot for you. They work with all kinds of independent brewers in and around the New York area, and they have so many beers. 12 rotating beers on tap, over 150 beers in cans and bottles, growlers, crowlers, ciders, you name it. And their bartenders here are awesome. Now be sure you don't skip it on dessert while you're here because Ample Hills Creamery is serving some of the best flavors in Brooklyn. This ice cream shop started as a push cart in Prospect Park and now you can find their scoop shops all over Brooklyn. They've got all kinds of flavors, butter cake, key lime with graham crackers, vanilla with cookie dough, and a ton more. You can get it served up in a cone or a dish. I personally like a dish. Either way, it's the perfect way to end a meal. We're here at Wonderville, an independent arcade bar right on the border of Bushwick and Bed-Stuy. It's created by a husband and wife duo who worked in the live entertainment space for more than 10 years. The games are also created by local New Yorkers. You can't find them anywhere else in the world. I love this game, Hair or Not. It's created by a woman right here in Brooklyn. So tell me a little bit about this place. I think it's been here since 2019. They teamed up with Death by Audio Arcade, which is a nonprofit that was kind of nomadic. And they would leave their arcades at different bars in Brooklyn and Manhattan. Mark and Steph got together and wanted to open a bar. And Death by Audio wanted a home for their arcades, so it just 
kind of married the two ideas. So when people come here, do, is, is it mostly, is this bar filled with people who are obsessed with video games or someone who doesn't know video games, are they gonna enjoy this place? It's kind of like special about this place is that anyone can just come off the street and like you'll find something that you're into. So I heard someone could come here and learn how to create a video game, is that correct? That's right, yeah. About once a month, you can come here on a Sunday where Death by Audio will host their arcade co-op. And anybody can just show up if you want to learn how to build an arcade cabinet, or if you are developing a game on your own and you want some tips from somebody who might be able to help you. Like it, it kind of attracts all these developers and people that are just interested in the DIY like hobby scene to just come on that day and like learn from each other. Tell me about some of the games that you have in-house. Killer Queen is a popular one. That one kind of blew up. People come in from Baltimore or like from Pennsylvania who play at leagues there and they come and visit each other like to just play with other Killer Queen members and it kind of builds its own community. So why do people come here? They come here to play the games, I think. We have shows and live bands play here. Uh, Wednesday nights we show Dragula from Shudder. And we have comedy nights, we have movie nights, uh, we have DJs. So there, there's always something going on. Thanks for joining me in Extra Space Storage today in Brooklyn. Whether you live here, plan to move here, or just coming to visit. Hope you guys check out some of the cool spots that we saw today.